Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a specific scenario that we usually encounter whenever we are working with the data and need to create a specific table or a specific data model and how we can do that. So the way I have a scenario is if I can first of all remove this because this was related to previous scenario so let me help you understand that what's going on okay and I'll remove this. So what I'm doing is I'm creating uh, a table and over here. So we have the information in sheet one and sheet two. This is a scenario I showed you in the separate video and I'll explain you if you have not seen it. So what it has is this information. These are the three data points that this table has. And if I increase it just so that you can see it properly, I will make it 20. Okay. So you have this now. This is all the projects which your company either engaged or not uh, either engaged or completed or not completed. So what you do is you maintain another list of active projects. So what do you have is over here in table, you have one more which is active projects and uh, a part of the project which is active. So uh, what it means is let me just help you understand. So this basically says P01 here P01 has two entries that uh, who is a project manager for a particular type of project like mall interior and mall construction. Similarly Don for project number two office construction office interior but for office interior who you have Jake for P P03 is inactive project because it is not present in this list but P04 is over here where data interior related work is active. Now if you don't have this particular column, let's say if I don't have this name, then what it tells me is that these are the three active project. When we say active project, that means P01, P02, P04 is the list overall like mall interior and mall construction both are going on, right? So the, this is what I showed you in the previous scenario where I created this active project details and I showed it if you have this scenario, then this is how it will going to give you the output. So what it is doing, this table is doing, if I increase it again to 20. So this is what it is doing. It is basically looking up both of these two tables, P01, P02, P04, P01, P02, P04, right? And then it is giving you the output. So it is combining this and the way I have done that is using this expression active project details calculate table sheet one and sheet two now in this case sheet two what sheet two is having is active project and name so it is filtering by the active project only when we specify this expression and you get the output like this and this is what i showed in my previous video now it can become complex the complexity is that project has multiple parts and you need to know what part is active for example Mall construction is there, but let's say construction is completed, only the interior is going on. And that is what, let's say you are capturing it over here, that in the active project, which part is active. So the way you would expect this is, hey, now if I specify the, or if I need to get the details, I have just specified sheet two, I can go and specify the name and it will give me the information, right? So what you do is you try sheet two and you simply say name because this is what it is doing the filter as part of the expression and if I just show you over here sheet one comma so first you need to specify table then you need to specify the filter and you would say okay let me just go ahead and uh, not sheet one but sheet two name and let me get the output well in that case if you see it says cannot convert value mall interior type text to true false so what it expects is some sort of a condition which will give it to filter a table like this. So what do we need to do in this case is we need something called uh, over here after comma we need like filter which is coming. So we have the filter expression filter. What do we need? We need to filter the table sorry the sheet one. Okay. And what is our filter expression? So we have the sheet one name and equals to now you would say I will simply write sheet two but it doesn't give sheet two because it is working on only on sheet one right 
So what you can do is you can write a function called related and then you can write the sheet to name, close this, close the filter and close calculate table and you press enter. As soon as you press the enter, the new table which you get is only specific to the part which is going on or active right now. So we know that in our sheet, this is the name column where the active project is going on and you get this basically particular piece. Now you can make it as complex as, as you want like with the multiple condition or condition and condition and all. But I wanted to show you at least to start with how you can get this information. So if you have find it interesting so far and if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this Google Sheet which is this one the link of this sheet is present in the description and over here you I keep all of my title of my videos like this one is create new table after filtering from another table and the link is present in column B that way you can very easily search any of my previous videos and get to that using the link over here also the exercises are present over here in case if you want to follow my exercises related video and the website link from where I'm getting this and then at the top uh, just a quick information when you land that if you need advanced training you can reach out to me okay so coming back to power bi that this table creation or this table becomes really really interesting when you uh, start having the data uh, which is maybe in a specific order or you want to have a specific scenario that you want to achieve so with the help of calculate table with the filter and all of the scenarios you know we can we can achieve whether it is as simple as you have one column or as or as complex as if you have multiple columns multiple conditions and you can achieve that with that thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic